Hey everyone, welcome back to Craft Aquatic. I'm Matt G. In this video, we'll be spending a day at America's largest saltwater aquarium show, Reef of Palooza, New York. Let's go in and check it out. So this is the GHL cage director, and basically what this is, is a testing slash controller for your alkalinity. And the way it works is, it works alongside the GHL doser 2.1, um, and you have three pumps which will be responsible for actually running the KHD. You have one pump for your water sample, you have a second pump for your reagent, and you have your third pump for your wastewater. The fourth channel is where you could actually set up your regular alkalinity schedule. And it is this pump that will actually be adjusted depending on what your KHD determines your alk level to be at. And the way that this works is you can set this to test your alkalinity anywhere between 1 to 24 times a day. You can also specify the exact time of the day from when the first test will happen. Um, and as each test occurs, the KHD will then automatically adjust your existing ALK schedule, uh, whether, and it'll determine whether it needs to actually increase or decrease the alkalinity dosage based on the outcome of your test result. Um, and with each test that's done, the KHD will start logging all of that data so you can later on view it in a chart and you can go back and see how your alkalinity has changed throughout the week, throughout the past two weeks, down to, uh, up to, uh, the past three months. All right, I'm Larry Flint. I'm the president of the Reef Conservation Society, and I'm a teacher at Williamsport Area High School. Uh, all the coral here in our booth is uh, has been grown at Williamsport Area High School, and we go by Millionaire Coral because the mascot for our school is the millionaire. Um, Everything's aquacultured by students. We raise clownfish and uh, cut coral. Everything is uh, captive propagated. Uh, we're not a chop shop. We don't just get stuff out of the ocean and cut it up like that. I teach a course called Aquarium Science, and students learn how to design, build, and maintain aquarium systems. Uh, we have about 50 tanks around the school, all the way up to a 550 gallon aquarium. And uh, so they learn about propagation techniques and um, keeping track of 
chemical parameters and doing water changes and all the regular maintenance that a hobbyist would do and learn how to, uh, you know, be in the aquarium business. My name is Tristan Wilson. I'm the owner and inventor for Pax Bellum. Um, we create the arid reactor, the original macroalgae uh, uh, nutrient export system. Um, I was working at the Long Island Aquarium um, and I was working behind the scenes propagating uh, corals. And I just, we were also growing microalgae in large tubes. And I just, I had the chetomorpha growing in some trough tanks and it was taking up a lot of room. So I just had the idea of combining that tube and uh, the chato and lighting it the most efficiently way possible. Um, but it was back in 2004 and we didn't have LED technology like it is today. So the, the original prototype was actually a T5 stuck down the middle and uh, that definitely would have been safe. It's uh, primarily going to take up nitrates faster um, and then bring down phosphates. So if you run out of nitrates, we sell a supplement that'll uh, bump up the nitrates again so the algae can continue to, to take up phosphates. In your 120 gallon reef tank, uh, the N18 would be the appropriate size. It's rated for 40 to 150 gallons. Hi, my name is Josh for Josh Work Sandwich Zoas. And, uh, you know, I'm doing art now, so a lot of this stuff that I have, it's just stuff that I print in house. Uh, these are all my pictures, you know, that I've done over the years. A lot of people use my pictures, you know, for their stuff, so I decided to print some out. Um, then uh, the canvas here, it's I print it, I frame it in a canvas, and then I paint over it with UV paint. So it glows with the tank lights. And some of them, you know, just some bigger art, just different things that I'm doing. All right, so these are done by a friend of mine. Uh, they're little Zoas. She she always buys Zoas from me, and, and she crochets. So one day she brought me one as a gift. He was, she was like, oh, look what I did. So I told, and she had a bunch for other vendors, and then I told, man, just put them on my table. And within 10 minutes, they all sold. So now every show, she always makes me little Zoas. She makes me seahorses, uh, fish, starfish. She makes anything. This toadstool leather was one, two, three, four. It was six polyps, like the little long tentacle floating around when he fragged them and glued them all down. It's incredible. Is that not wild? Well, hello, this is Rabia from Reef Kinetics. Uh, it all started like uh, five years ago. Uh, I have a fish tank and I travel a lot and I couldn't uh, keep up my uh, parameters uh, uh, monitored all the time. Uh, so uh, I decided to create something to, uh, to monitor uh, all the parameters uh, in, inside my uh, reef tank. Uh, and uh, we didn't want to, I didn't want to reinvent the wheel. Uh, I wanted to use the whatever uh, uh, reagent available uh, uh, on the shelf, everywhere, and to just automate the process of the testing. Uh, so this is how it all started. We, uh, we recruited the robotics engineer, chemists, uh, and developers, software, uh, software engineers, and we uh, worked for three years on the uh, ReefBot. And now it's been like six months uh, available and everyone loves it. <laughs> they sure do. <laughs> yeah. Can you keep up with the demand? 
Uh, well, not not enough. <laughs> we have a lot of orders, a lot of orders. We can't. We're not uh, able to satisfy uh, uh, directly. But now uh, we're expanding our uh, manufacturing uh, facility, and we uh, we're able to ship within uh, maximum one week of the order. Cool. So I know you have like uh, you have a doser of that. Uh, yes. Well, the doser uh, it will uh, come out uh, by the end of the year. Uh, every pump head will be connected to a parameter. Let's say the first one for alkalinity, second one calcium, third one magnesium, wherever you want to dose, and it will dose auto uh, autonomously and uh, according to the, the test result of the reef bot. Uh, everyone can also. Uh, control the dozer remotely with his app and decide himself how much to dose if he doesn't want to link it to, uh, to the test result of the reef bot. There's a lot of things in development but we can't reveal it. <laughs>